this is Revolutionary Hero 100 and welcome back to Sub 4. Uh, I forget, oh, okay, we're at war, aren't we? I forgot that. The enemy has been spotted near war war Warwick. Right, oh, it's the Dutch. What defense is Oh, well, we've got long women and stuff, and it's only a caravel. That's not how you pronounce it, I'm sure. I think. Yeah, cool. Oh, we've, we've got some soldiers up here. Yeah, cool. Oh, are we at war with Shaka? No, we're not. Okay, just William and Orange. Oh, we'll, we'll just leave him. We don't actually need to go to war. I'm, I'm sure that was a diplomatic reason. Yeah, sure, sounds like a deal. He'll, he'll get satellites, like, in a hundred years, and then he'll be able to see the world anyway, so, you know. Why? Why delay the inevitable? That's what I say. That I say. I don't know why these long, these crossbow men are musket men. They're not, they don't even look like the others. Why those um, musket men are there and not with the army, but sure. sure. To give a scientific method for measure. Yeah, that sounds like a deal there. Sounds like a deal. And here we shall build a frigate. Yeah, we're going to need some ships, aren't we, for the coming war. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same god who has endowed us with sense and reason and intelligence has as intended us to forge as to forge their uses or use I'm not sure I'm not quite sure what that was on it and I think I definitely haven't built any ships beforehand have I no I was getting confused because um I was playing Civ the other day on my other profile which I don't record Oh, I do have ships, yeah, but I don't have battleships, that's what I was getting at. But yeah, I recorded the other day on my, um, the profile I sort of have at home. Like, well, clearly this is my house, but like, um, for personal use, like, not for going, just I play. And on that one, I, I already have ship. Uh, peace would benefit both sides, sounds like a plan. But yeah, so on that one, there is other stuff going on, I already had a strong navy and stuff, and I couldn't remember which it was because I haven't played in a while. Uh, oh, they, they have two longbowmen? Oh, that, that could prove a problem then. That could prove a problem. Unless we can, like, just go and get some more men from somewhere. I have a colony thing, do I? Do I? No, I haven't set a colony up yet, have I? Have I? <laughs> yeah, this shows how unprepared I am. I can't remember if I set a colony. I thought, well, I've got this. No, I didn't set a colony up. Oh, we had Swindon, didn't we? But that got destroyed. Yeah, that was this profile. Uh, here we go, a frigate. One of Her Majesty's battleships there. HMS Frigate. <laughs> oh, that's the, the type of ship. This galley can... Yeah, sure, we'll collect some more men. But first, that could really do with an upgrade to a long woman. And do we have nationhood as a civ? That was not my civ button. Civ. There we go. Yep, we have nationhood. The drafting begins. So, let's go here. From Oxford we will draft. A drafted. Where else can we draft on this crappy continent? Drafted. Yep, cool, you need to get up there. You fellows need to get up there. Sure, we'll, we'll draft a unit here as well. It's a really stupid place to draft. Yeah, two turns and we can march on the barbarian hordes. I must study politics and war that my sons may have the liberty to study mathematics and philosophy. John Adams. Hey, yeah, hey, I, I know who John Adams is. He was um, an American fellow. I'd, I'd go into more detail, but I can't bother. That, let's just leave it. He was an American dude. 50 cent. Yeah, that's really terrible odds. So we'll just, we'll just wait till he's at full health. Four turns. Is that frigate going somewhere? Don't don't move. Uh, I must have given it orders or something to move, but that's not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. Now it can move. Let's just see where are some barbarian hordes which need crushing. Yeah, this continent looks like it's pretty barbarianized. I'm gonna send the frigate over there too, cause it it would be a good place for it to blow crap up. Yeah, we go to war, man. Oh, oh, a Zulu spy has been sewn upon. Yeah, I really need to get some spies now. Sure, we're always glad to help evil pillaging Vikings. So yeah, we, we should get... It ain't hap. He doesn't have paper yet. <laughs> He's really far behind. 
So I bet it's because we attacked him. He's like, sorry, we can't turn our backs on them. His Excellency is one of my commanders. And that sounds like a deal, even though I'm losing quite a bit of money in it. You gotta keep people happy, don't you? It's all about choosing your friends. I can get cannons now and ironclads. Ironclads are ridiculous. I mean, they're freaking ridiculous. How how very good they are. The game's freezing a little. <laughs> yeah. It's still crap. <laughs> still crap. St. Thomas Aquinas. Oh, I know about that fellow too. Uh, we learned about his theory in RE, so I know who he is. Do we want a ship of the line? Or do, can we build... Can we actually... No, we can't actually build ironclads. The privateer would be good. Oh, he's at full health. 74.9. Yeah, they like good odds. If we lose, we're screwed, because there's no other soldiers here. Ah, yeah, victory. Yes, and sort of new government. Uh, we don't want a ship of the line there. Go we'll, we'll just have to spread Christianity there. A bump. I should only spread some of these other religions so I can get some more money. Yeah, like Islam, that could be a good one to spread. Can they build Islamic missionaries? No, we need an Islamic monastery. Uh, well, I, I should leave it actually until they finish what they're building now. Then they can build an Islamic monastery and we'll spread Islam. You have a Colosseum in Coventry. Well, a university then. Research is always good. Yeah, my, my mouse is messed up, sorry. Yeah, cool, we can go back. Mohammed. Mohammed Sahi. Yep, I, th I think I feel I should know who that is. I think I do, but I may be wrong. Um, what can we do? Oh, we might as well just start a golden age. Cool. Yeah, golden ages just means stuff's better, more production, more money. And these, this guy can have better defense, and he can pull up there. Set a look and go there then. And how much money we're actually making now? Very well, carry on then. What else can we build? A uh, dried off, I guess. Ah, oh, cool. I'll, no, I wanted to build the Islamic temple or mission, whatever it was. Yeah, to build to get missionaries. Uh, Islamic temple. I'm sure it said monastery though. You need Islamic monastery. Well, I, I can't build an Islamic monastery, so yep. No Islamic monastery in sight. Temple and mosque. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because we have free religion. I don't know. That'd be really awkward though, because it means we can't spread that religion. And thus we can't get money. Well, from it, because look, in Christian wit, the Church of Nativity, we're making 27. 27? That's frickin' ridiculous. Who should we randomly go and attack with our privateer? Yeah, cut this fellow. He looks like he has some waters worth raiding. Also, we dislike Shaka, so it's always good to beat the crap into him. Oh, rebels, barbarians, the settlers are dead. No free man shall be taken, imprisoned, or in any other way destroyed, except by the lawful judgment of his peers. The Magna Carta. Oh, that's a British thing there, the Magna Carta. But we should all know about that. It's where. King John, I think it was, or something, was, um, he was king and what not, well, clearly King John, but, <laughs> and, um, as king, he was basically a bit of a douche, bit of a douche, that, that's the description for you there, anyway, so, being a douche and all, the, um, or like the, um, lords and noblemen, because obviously it was, it was sort of like the Dark Ages, so there was all the Thegan, are they called Thegans? I'm not sure. It's like the name you give, like, the local local lords and things. And they're all pretty pissed, so they, they rose up and they made him sign this thing, the, the Magna Carta, and it, it, like, restricted his powers. I don't know how it restricted his powers, like, in what manners, but that that's what it did. Because they were all pretty pissed at him, they're like, well, screw you, douchebag. And restricted his powers so he couldn't do as much. Okay, we're being attacked. Is that our privateer? Because, yeah, it probably is. Yeah, I think that's probably... I guess everyone's going to attack privateers, because if they can't see the nationality of it, they're just going to assume it's the enemies, aren't they? Yeah, that's probably a stupid move, then. <laughs> Look at our foes trying to take our lands. They're going to try and culture pushes off this island, but... 
They will fail. Yeah, sure, sounds like a deal. Open borders, that's always good. Cooperation. Ingenious device for taming, obtaining individual profit without individual responsibility. Cool. Let's go with communism. <laughs> Becoming left wing. Well, we can build a Christian temple or a confirm. I can't pronounce that, so we'll build that because I'm already at it. Oh, Islamic missionary. Yay. Spreading some Islam. As you do. As you do. <coughs> oh, this guy's writing pikemen on the border. Replaceable parts to earn the for astron astronomy. Yep, that sounds like a deal. I like money. <laughs> the whole is more than the sum of the parts. Aristotle. Um, I'm sure that was some ancient Greek fellow. Or something like that. Ah, uh, frigate can bombard the defences of this puny nation. They can land the troops there. Wait till next turn. We will have a new colony, and it will be called New Joe Land. So we can build a Christian temple now, because we have nothing else to build. I just have to build more ships, isn't it? Build up the navy. Ships of the line. Not really, it went all the way around there rather than just going there. Okay. Who am I to judge the stupidity of my ships? A surplus. Oh, okay, there's just some random information there which isn't too important. No defenses left. Go and attack B Banuta. I wonder if this used to be like a nation and then, you know, there was some shit went down and they all became rebel settlements. Like, they, they had no army and the rebels sort of marched in and were just like, yep, we're taking this. Just taking this as our land now. It's only 2.5 cent. He better win this fight. <coughs> yep, victory, thy name is a musketman. Oh no, he's gonna lose. That's the glitch where your unit's gonna lose to Logmoman, the last one gets like an arrow in him. But now victory must be ours. Go for the feast, lad. Yep, right in the feast. Still got a cold. Girls are annoying and douchebaggy. We're just gonna skew ourselves a little empire here, you know. I'll probably turn it into a colony. You can do that, you can physically make colonies. Is there, is there literally nothing we can make? Oh, we can make a missionary. Yeah, missionaries, they're always good. Have an Islamic one. Okay, a cache of ancient writings has been discovered in a way car, and the terror over to our researchers. Which does nothing, or preserve these works of culture treasure. Subtract 15 from the treasury, confuse honest plus 4. Yeah, lovely. That'll do. Islamic fellow can go. I I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Let's see what, what city. Yes, this one here. Nyand Viking name. I'm, I'm sure it's some form of Norwegian settlement or Danish or something. Yeah, this is Archer, I think. And then just a plain bonus. Now they're elite. Oh, I saw some spearmen, so that was... Yep, they're going to defend there, because the sword and spearmen are of no opposition to a musketman. With a 10% strength bonus. Um, yep, that one adds some culture. If I do so, next opportunity. Hmm, we must watch and wait. Oh, we've been culturally destroyed. Up the culture, man. We've driven out. And they have grenadiers. I think we can build grenadiers, but it's just the fact that redcoats are specialist unit who are actually they're the equivalent of riflemen. Um the weakness of them is grenadiers. <coughs> but they do get a bonus versus cavalry, so that's all good. A cannon will do the job. Canterbury looks like a lovely city. <coughs> Our camp was destroyed by enemy infiltrators. We must have a worker somewhere around here. Here, well, yeah, there we go. Cool, the workers can go and get their butts up there. Spread the religion. Spread in the culture, spread in the wealth. Hmm. Good to be, I could always turn to free speech, but. 
that be a good thing? Is it that a hundred percent culture? But I do like nationhood. I mean, no upkeep. What what would we be paying on our armies? Like, what are we? Well, now unit cost is not at the moment. Hmm. I'm sure we'd lose a lot of money actually for it because nationhood's one of those serves where you make dosh from them. Uh, okay, they can attack there then. Hopefully we'll we'll start building a little bit more culture. Ah, oh, this is my favourite saying on the game. When I give money, uh, when I give food to the poor, they call me a saint. When I ask why the poor have no food, they call me a communist. I like that quote. That's a nice one. Let's see the big picture. I'm quite certain that state property is shit as hell. Yeah, it's bollocks. Cool. Free, free um, market is clearly the best one on the game. Like, well, out of that selection. Hmm, I could change some of these units to grenadiers. So we'll put the macemen as grenadiers, but then the musketmen can be redcoats when the time comes. And those guys will be cavalry like that. Can we get cavalry now, actually? No, we can't. But we will be able to soon. Intelligence agency. <laughs> so I thought Rain Rangner's Golden Age, whatever. The Viking fella. Collateral damage. That's what we're on about. Collateral damage. Get the cannons up there. Rebuild that camp as well. They so got some grenadiers, got some more troops. Can that spread non state? Oh, okay, they must have theology. Um, I'll just bring it down to our area, you know. That city that. Oh, yeah, we can't go for Shaker's territory. Um, get your butts over there. Oh, uh, we must have a galleon lying around somewhere doing piss all. Uh, kind of like that. Yeah, you're doing piss all. You can get your butt over here. There you go. Problem solved. Problem solved. No, no, I just moved this galleon. Why is it sitting there? No, 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 move. Do what you're told, ship. They used to have respect in this country, you know? Used to have respect. I'm not sure if we're going to win this combat. <coughs> oh, we did. Don't attack us, don't attack us, don't... Oh, God. Good chance we're going to die now. Good, good chance. No, maybe, no, we're dead. They have crap loads of barbarians. But there is a way to solve it. I, I've got it planned out. It's a smart way, too. We move the army of... We gather an armada. It'll be like the Spanish armada, except... It'll be the British with the Armada, and it'll be the British who win again. The British Armada. We were famous for our navy and stuff, so you know, I should probably build up a nice big one. So we've got one galley and getting its butt over here. We'll build another, and then we'll just draft in units. So the citizens... Well, fuck those citizens. We're not joining Shaka and his evil tyrancy. There's a farm to be built. And the enemy have been spotted. Hmm. I wonder if this would be an appropriate time to randomly go to war with Shaker, because, you know, his culture is beating the shit into ours. Just march right in there, just feel like, bam, dead. I mean, this is 55% English, so it's not even but English. So, no, it's English enough that we can draft units, though. And we all know my policy on drafting units. Conscription isn't bad if you're doing it for England. Yeah, that's, that's a policy. We're British, so we're allowed to conscript, even though... I don't know. I don't know why that's a reason we can conscript, but it is. We're playing as England, so conscription's fine. And now this is where. Because we got the hurry production, we go to a sh crappy city like Canterbury. Go in there. Let's see, where is a wonder? The Kremlin. That will take 200 turns. Do that. How long will the Kremlin take now? Uh, I can't double-click just a sec. Wait for him to go. Now it will take 48 turns. Bam. That's how you do it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thankfully, Maceman's bonus is against melee units and not musketmen. Otherwise, we'd be pwned there. So with axemen. So hopefully we can win this. Oh, thank you. Good. Good. Okay, we're just going to go with another 30%. Oh, and it's add a 10% versus melee, and they're bringing all these melee crap. So that's good. That's good. 
We should wait till we have rifling to start drafting so I don't have to upgrade red coats. Upgrade two red coats as much. When we get red coats, we'll just be wiping through this peninsula. I don't know, it's a peninsula, I can't actually see it. Not quite sure what the description of a peninsula is. Yeah. Political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. Freaking red coats, look at that. Look at them. 25 cent versus mounted units. Can't mess with. Oh, accidentally press a freaking button. Now we have to go and see what. Oh, I don't want to build a red coat. I want to upgrade you to a red coat. We don't want to be building a red coat. I want to be building a. Colosseum? Burner. Yeah, sure, a Colosseum will do. But the first place, this is where the war is going down, so we need red coats. And then we need to upgrade the army to red coats. In the appropriate places. And then on the border, these guys need to be red coats. Some more red coats. Uh, look how cool red coats are. I mean, it's not a great picture because they would actually have a cup of tea there. You know, big national tea is important, but see those fellows there with their rifles and manners. That's the way to victory. Rifles and manners. And tea. Tea is important. Get cool. The nation of whatever this place is of England is now red coat upgraded can we get these pipemen to red coats? No, yeah, red coats more red coats can't, can't go wrong with red coats now we're going to draft in some, this, I think they're still pissed we demand emancipation and it's too crowded I don't even have a man I don't think I can have emancipation as a civ yet no I cannot it requires democracy well screw democracy screw it in de oh wait nine turns screw it for nine turns then you can have your democracy yep, they can go there I'm quite certain I had a boat coming over here to pick these lads up yeah I must have done because it's not here anymore and then we will just oh okay Shaq has declared war on us just as we got highly elite redcoats who pwn infantry's butt um, cavalry's but even look at them yeah Th they're not in square formation which is why they haven't done as well as they could have done everyone knows that square formation is the way to win cav hate square that's why you because you get your men in the square and they won't they won't charge directly at the square or something because they've got sharp bayonets and I guess pointy death scares horses makes sense pointy death scares me yeah that's silly's lost they've got grenadiers you know what I say Fuck this douchebag. We've got an army right there. It's gonna take this city back. And take it back for the British Empire. What not? We may have lost this time, men, but we will return. And we will be stronger. And, well, time to die for it. Well, he is a racist. I'll, I'm sorry, but he, he is a racist. Well, we're going on a war footing now, men. Going on a war footing. Whoa, this, that's, that unit is freaking ridiculously upgraded. Okay. To battle and victory, lads. To battle and victory. We'll set up on this farm. Okay, and that's, that's all they can do this turn. These guys can be upgraded to cavalry, but that's all they can do this turn. Yeah, okay. You can do this thing where I'm going to have to spend ages up making everyone go into fortify mode. Yes, I would like to fortify... No, uh, well, yeah, actually, you guys can, uh, I guess. Uh, it, it, we can destroy the barbarians at the same time. We're not, no, we're on a war footing. Are we? I'm not sure what we can do. D did I not have a group of... Oh, I must have sent out to the army, the Grand Army. The Grand Army of Britain. <laughs> right, well, we're suffering collat collateral damage. Well, this guy's a douchebag. Guess what our policy to him is from now on? Not to let's try and reunite our friendship, no, fuck him. To war. We're going to annihilate him. I want to see his cities burning. He will become a vassal of our mighty empire, or he will be destroyed. By the army, the grand or something annoying and obnoxiously named like that. The epic army of death. There you go. He could not stand against the epic army of death. Because it is an army of death so it's epic 
I, I was going somewhere with it. Blow that Corsair's feet off. <laughs> well, they, they did, as I was saying it. And um, one's flanked us right next to the cavalry, who are far superior. But it isn't a fort. Really, they, they sent, rather than getting grenadiers, then they used the cannons, which are probably going to lose. Well, that was stupid. I wouldn't. the stupid game and its dumb setups. And I say. I say I'm just going to have to build another army. And they didn't have that many men in the city. They're moving more men in. That's just a douche. Freaking hate this guy. Freaking hate him. Now what I'm going to have to do is build loads of cavalry because that's Grenadier's weakness. That's their weakness. Oh, built beat a Grenadier. So basically our army's just getting annihilated here. See? That's the thing. Whoever declares war usually does the best because, you know, they can take a city and secure it. Because you can't really keep... Because if you keep your army in one city, then there'll be another city open. You know. I'm going to have like quadruple garrisons in the border cities. You, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. My highly experienced veterans are all dying before my eyes to shitty musketmen. And some grenadiers. But I will have my revenge, damn it. There won't be peace until Shaka's head is on a pike. And a mighty bloody pike at that. Like, the blood will all be running down the edge and it'll be dropping on the floor. Oh, what was the second wealthiest? Yeah, you can build a granary. Th this isn't over, I tell you that now. We're bringing in the fresh troops being brought to the front now. This shit ain't over. This shit's getting real. Or something like that. This shit's real. 99 like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna blow his face off. Revenge is a dish best served from a horse with a musket to a rifle or whatever weapon they happen to have. Ah, eh, seven percent chance of victory. I don't want to get caught. We need to pull back one space though, so we can have a retreat. Now, let's go and beat the shit into this grenadier here. Trying to mess with us, trying to mess with England. You get, you get pwned. We have some aggressive chavs in this country, you know, some, ag some aggressive chavs, and they will pwn your ass. They will pwn your ass. I mean, seriously, they're terrifying. Like. They, they walk down the street with their trousers around there, but they're not like dicks, to be honest. But yeah. I, I'm not sure why we're discussing chairs. This is the good time of Britain, you know. When people had manners and drank tea. We got all our tea from India. Nice place, India. Makes lots of tea. You know, I like tea. It's, it's good stuff. Oh yeah, we can only do three a turn, but we, we will be drafting. Don't worry, Coventry and Nottingham, you will be drafted from. You will be drafted from, and our armies will march. And I have a subtle, subtle plan. I'm gonna draft a... Okay, yeah, we, we still can't draft, I keep forgetting that. But we will draft a unit from Newcastle, and I plan... The war effort is being planned as we speak. I plan to come down and hit Shaka from the north. I guess next turn we're, we will be, you know, not next turn, next time I do a, what's the word, episode part, what a video, Let, let's go with video, that's the word we're looking for, video, we're gonna need another cannon aren't we, we're gonna need uh, extra strength, they're extra powerful redcoats, these aren't any redcoats, these are Marks and Spencer's red coats. So yeah, uh, that that's a joke. Many of you won't get, but in in this country we have Marks and Spencer adverts. Like yeah, I'm sure there's someone watching who understands what that was, but most of you won't. Ninety-nine percent chance of victory. Oh, uh, that's Oliver Cromwell. In Parliament. Now you can just pull back into some safer territory, Oliver. Just heal him up for a little bit. Heal him up. Look at him. We're slowly, slowly breaking their morale. And we're going to plan the ambush, a, a great force of destroying us. Okay, I, I'm not good with names. I'll admit it. Shockingly, I'm not the best with names. We're going to just... Okay, we're going to have no garrison up there, but it's cool. But we, Ranga's, Ranga's a good, good guy. He's our bird, you know. Join the forces there. 
A great army is being amassed before your eyes. Should really go to that fort there. Okay, well, we can't all go, but three of you can go. Yeah, and then they'll leave the rest outside of the strong place. Have a cannon. I, I could do with a Christian cathedral. No, why would I build a Christian cathedral? That would just be stupid. Build a cannon. I don't really need any more cannons, but I'll build a cannon. Have collateral damage. You can go join the Armada the Army of Joe. The Army of Joe. The time of this African nation is over. The time of England is nigh. Yeah. I don't know what African nation I think I think it's Zulu or something. That's a Zulu land. Okay, well that's not a country. I'm I'm certain. If anything, that just sounds like a racist African country. Okay. Z Zulu land then, which kind of that is it can't be a, it's not called Zulu land, it's called like there were, there were Zulus. Yeah, but I doubt they came from a place called Zulu land. I mean it it just sounds too messed uply weird. Zululand, really? So, but, yeah. Okay, we'll just we'll just ignore how oddly named that is. A worker. Now you can build a stable, I guess. I do so at next possibility. I could really build a red coat up there, can I? A red coat. Who we've witnessed. Red coats are never beaten in battle. But what well, we have lost a few. Okay, that's not great retreat odds there, or victory odds for that matter. Um, can we spare a unit to like kill them? Just, like get a red coat out and just seventy-one. Yeah, sure, a red coat can do that. It's a red coat. Look at them. Fine, fine hats and the little things which look kind of weird. And why they all appear to have wigs, I'm not quite sure. But fine, fine ass warriors. He really should pull back to the safety of the fort. Don't worry. If you think about it, throughout the many conflicts we've had with Jackal, we've uh, we're still on top. Okay, we've we've lost one city in this war, but if we look at the entire mass of wars we've had with this fellow, we have won because we took, you know, that one city from him. He just took it back, and culturally we've lost that area. Okay, we haven't won, but you know, we, we we've angered him. And what more can we ask than to anger our foes, and then lose in battle to them, but then ready a new army and destroy them? I guess we we kind of won because Canterbury was right on the border, wasn't it? But now it's you know we got all this territory, we got all that territory, and we will have Bulla ready Bulawayo. Is that what it's called? I don't know. We will have Bulawayo in our grasp soon enough once again, and then. Let's go into drawing mode for this last little bit of the video. And then we shall... Where's drawing mode? That's drawing mode, I think. No, that's that's not drawing mode. No. Where's drawing mode? Show the strategic... Yes! We shall take this land soon enough. And from there our army shall march. That That's death there. Uh, there will be violent battles, but we will take this city because we will be drafting from like there and there and and round like here. Pretend that's filled in, and from there we will have an army strong enough to put a garrison in this squiggle here, and then bam, I will take that oil there, and I'll be like bam, and then they won't have any oil. So when it comes, to, and then we can take here. And then later on in that time when you need oil, that'll be crap, and we will amass a mass of mechanized infantry, and it's like BAM! <laughs> yeah. Cool. New sign. I can't draw. Uh, let's delete all lines. Let's delete that too. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, um,. Yeah, cool. I, th I think that's all. I, th I think we could end this video now that I've shown my angry plan, which was completely incorrect because it didn't show the flanky maneuver of doom. Dum bum 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 bum. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna stop being uh, odd. I think would be the word. Yeah. See, these are the ones I don't use in front of you. Well, okay. I I don't use any of these. I use Charlemagne. 
that, that's from the German one where I accidentally saved over it. That's from the Russian one where I accidentally saved over it. There's from something I don't think I recorded. I forget what that was. Vikings. Oh, that's where I started a campaign which went shit. And as is the future war. I think, or is it the final frontier or something? It's the space one. But yep, uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye.